Many of our viewers have asked me how to create and most important how to save transition effect. If you want to learn how to start creating your own transition within DaVinci Resolve 17, then definitely this video will give you a good place to start. You will see and learn how to use the new modifiers for creating transitions within Fusion. And finally, you will learn how to save your transitions made in Fusion. Let's see today's intro with Fusion Mate transitions. Welcome back to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Currently we are in edit page and today I'm going to show you how to create and save video effects in DaVinci Resolve 17. Nothing to be afraid of. So let's jump into effect library first and grab one of these dissolve transitions. Let's go with uh, cross dissolve. Just put it in the between these two uh, video clips, extend it and right click onto it and convert to Fusion Cross Dissolve. So once converted, just go again with right click, open in Fusion page. Once you will open in Fusion page, you're gonna see Media 1 and Media 2, Cross Dissolve and Media Out. Because we don't need Cross Dissolve, we're gonna delete this one and we're gonna put Transform node here in this line so and first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to inspector just open here on the top and you're gonna see all the controls that uh, transform node have and you can see here that we have x and y axis so we can move it left right up down so but today we're gonna use new features in uh, DaVinci Resolve 17. So let's go and put your mouse to center, right click, and let's go to modify with vector results. So this modifier will help us basically to do effect without keyframing, and it's gonna be easy to produce these new transition effects. So let's jump into the modifiers. And you can see here that we have similar commands, so left, right, up, down. Uh, one thing is you have distance as well. So what distance means? Distance means that it, the, the length uh, from origin, from this 0 0.5, 0 0.5 on X and Y axis. So uh, we also have angle here, so we can change this to, let's say, 90 degrees. And let's change distance. You can see that down, up, so different options we have. Let's reset that. And let's go to and put mouse cursor on distance, right click. And we're gonna animate this uh, width. So let's go to modify width, animation curves. So what are animation curves? Basically, we're gonna do all the all needed job with that. So let's go first and change curve or let's play it through to see what we have here. That will be <laughs> first thing to do. So this clip is slow, it's linear. So let's change it to easing. You can see here easing in and out. You know this command already. We're gonna use expo. So expo is uh, slow in fast in the between and slow out so you're gonna see now so let's play it through you see that slow in fast and slow again so it looks nice so one thing is that now we are finished on this first transform node so let's go and copy this one so ctrl c put your mouse cursor away, just click it somewhere here and press Ctrl V. 
So now we're going to connect media 2 with transfer 1.1 and we need merge node here so we're going to put it here and we're going to connect uh, this other transform node with merge. Now you can see that this one should be like the uh, background clip so let's change this let's swap, swap inputs and now we have this segment like background and foreground here let's click on transform 1.1 and what we're going to do here we would like to have it so you can see that both transform nodes do the same so they are one above another we have to change something and uh, that would be basically think that we need first to go to modifiers let's go to uh, vector on transform and we're gonna put minus in front of uh, x and this way you see that we have move basically this uh, other clip or let's say transform one to other side because we would like that this clip follows the other one so let's play it through to see what we have done yeah so this is basically the whip the whip effect that we have produced it so you can save it like this or you can upgrade it a little bit more so we we won't change anything here so we're gonna leave as it is uh, only thing that if you want to to have it like transition from right to left you have to change uh, so other parameters here but uh, let's leave it for for another tutorial so now I'm gonna show you another thing so uh, let's put the blur in the between and we can go also to effect library open effects go to open fx and go to resolve blur and let's grab directional blur put it in the between merge one and media out and let's play it through so we can see that everything is blurry so let's go to see here first thing is that you can see that blur is upwards that you can see also here minus 45 degrees so let's put it to zero so now it will be the same direction as as the images are moving so but another thing that we have to change is blur strength so we're gonna change it also with a new tool so let's right click to blur strength go to modify width and let's grab animation curves so now we have uh, animation curves and we can go to uh, modifiers so let's play through to see what's happening here so you can see that we have clear and on the beginning and very blurry on the end so what we can do we're gonna press this mirror here and we can play it through so now it's basically what we want but still we we can change a few things somebody will probably say it's too blurry you can see here that we have 60 frames 61 frame so let's go to uh, 30 and you can see the blur is very very strong so we can change it with this scale so you can lower the blur like this approximately 0.6 so even more if somebody wants to to go lower than that it can be like 0.4 uh, let's play it through yeah it's very soft so i prefer around 0.7 at looking better if you ask me so even somebody would want to have it like higher than that so let's go back to 30 to see yeah that's maybe the the better way so if you go beyond one you can see that it's everything blur so let's leave it like this because you can't see directly this line in between 
so we can play it through and that's it so let's go back to edit page we can play it through to see what we have done with that so let's play it yeah let's wait the computer check the, the transition still a bit slow but we're gonna just go like if we go back to we can go with 24 frames like like this or one second and yeah looks great so if we go and extend it back you can see that effect is blurry we can also change the the blur if we want so we can go back like this so right click open infusion page we can go to directional blur and uh, you can see here that we can increase the blur if we want to if we need to so it depends on the project you have let's go back to edit page and we can play it through again so, a bit different. Yeah. So, next thing is you probably wonder how to save this effect or this transition. So, easy, just right click and go create transition preset. Uh, whip effect. So, whip uh, right. We can go with. Uh, you can't leave any space in the between so you have to write it in almost one word so now we're gonna save it and we have it here in so user you can see it here this one is demo so let's delete this one and we're gonna put this one in and it's working nice and we can shorten or extend so whatever we want so we can change it here how many frames or how many seconds we would like to have if we're gonna go like 16 yeah Yeah, it looks nice. So this is it for today. If you have any questions regarding that effect or how to save uh, effects, you saw it. So just uh, uh, leave it down in comments uh, and see you next time. Hope you have found all information needed for starting creating your own transition effect in the Vinci Resolve Fusion page. If you need any assistance, let me know in the comments below or send me an email. So if you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave your feedback, suggestion or comments below. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Do not forget to watch my other tutorials as well. Enjoy. See you all next time. Have a good one.